And the objectives of my talk is to look at two injuries that occur at the axis, the C2 vertebral body, the dense fracture, and the Hangman's fracture. Uh, and we'll also look at uh, another injury which was rare, which is becoming common partly because of the whole body CT being done that you're able to evaluate the cranial cervical junction well, you're starting to see these atlanto-occipital dissociations. Uh, uh, throughout the lecture, what I'm going to emphasize is the normal anatomy seen on radiographs and CT, and look at that and see how the normal anatomy gets dearranged with these fractures, and see how we can use the dearrangement to identify these fractures. So I'm going to start off with the dense fracture, which is a common fracture, especially in the elderly. And this uh, data comes from a relatively old paper published from uh, Seattle, Washington, by Fred Mann and their group. And you can see uh, C2 dominates the scene when you take the upper three, the upper cervical spine. Uh, and that's where this uh, 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 information comes, and it is a very common fracture. And these days, to our trauma center, because the population is changing, the commonest mechanism by which patients come to our institution is falls, and these are falls at home, not motor vehicle collisions anymore. Uh, and as you can see, the mechanism there are two good mechanisms or predominant mechanisms by which this injury occurs uh, it's either motor vehicle collisions or falls. Uh, and again, going back to the same paper, looking at one of their tables that were published, you can see uh, falls dominate as much as motor vehicle collisions. And this was in 2002, but I think now falls will be the commonest mechanism. And what is really scary is you can see a good percentage of people just fell from the standing position or seated position and got a dense fracture. So anybody above 60, if they have a fall, they are at high risk for a cervical spine fracture. So don't hold back doing a CT if you're not sure what's going on uh, on radiographs. Uh, there are three types of dense fractures. We'll go through them very soon. Uh, the type two fracture is notorious for non-union.